Hi there, we're real excited today to tell you about Wham Bam's brand new product line, the Hotbox. The Hotbox is an enclosure for 3D printers. It's probably one of your best upgrades you can do right now for the value. You actually, with a very small investment, can create a, a steady heated enclosure, which allows you to print high temperature materials like ABS, nylon, PC, the other high temperature materials which have a high shrinkage rate and require you to have a steady temp. The enclosure is really well insulated, allowing you to either just simply heat with your bed heat and create a steady temperature above the heated bed or actually use an accessory heater. Wham Bam should be offering those heaters and other accessories in the near future. But first, let me start to tell you about the hot box itself. Um, it's a box that's made of a lightweight semi-rigid structure that sustains its own weight and more. It's actually made of a sandwich of materials starting with on the outside a 900, uh, nylon 600D material with flame resistant coating. On the inside there is a heat reflective metallic fabric and in between there's actually a thick honeycomb panel of plastic that has channels of air in the middle creating a really nice layer of insulation. The whole box is held together by two very long zippers. By closing them up, they create a nice semi-rigid structure. You've got it. The dimensions are in millimeters, 580 by 580 by 490 in inches. That's 23 inches wide, 23 inches deep, and 19 inches tall. Almost um, any printer that's an Ender 3 or its clones or smaller will fit in here. You have the choice of fitting the whole printer inside or allowing the spool to be on the outside above if it fits through this hole. This was made for the Ender 3 family or even putting the spool on the tabletop which we'll show you in a second. Let me start by showing you some of the features inside and then we'll move back to the outside. So first of all, it's got this wonderful, very large window. This gives you a chance to see your prints being printed, to see your control panel. Um, and it's made with a very thick layer of plastic that really is also very insulated. You don't even feel the temperature when this thing's getting hot. We have a pull tab here that you lift with one arm and we have some light hook and loop keeping that sealed, but also another pad of hook and, hook and loop at the top. That way, if you'd like to work with the door completely open, you just leave it up you'll notice is that it has no bottom. It's basically a cube of five sides, not six. That open bottom allows you to create some cool air draft underneath the heater level, if you like. As you know, your bed heat is uh, your source of heating unless you install other heaters. The bed heat, the heat rises, so it's trapping the hot air above the bed. We need to keep the PCBs and control boards cool, which are lower than the bed. So we can do that in a number of ways. Number one, you could have a vent at the top sucking air out if you're doing the filtration system, and it's gonna to tend to pull air from underneath this bottom of it. Number two, you could raise up your enclosure by a little bit. I plan on making some downloadable STLs for you that will allow you to raise it up and create a small gap to allow for current. Uh, there's no reason if you don't have a fan sucking that you'll have a draft that will defeat the heating. This heat from the bed is always going to raise up. Heat rises, cold air sinks, so you'll have a divider line between heat above the bed and cool down below where you need the PC boards to remain cool. So, On the inside, you'll find plenty of room. you find room for either a tool kit on the left of the machine, depending on which machines you have. You have room for a spool holder should you want to put your spool holder inside. Um, we are going to be offering a light kit and a heater kit in the near future. You'll notice on the outside, we do have this flap on the top which exposes a hole to allow a spool holder to come through. In the future, that's actually the next version, the, the sales version will have this cut into two, so you could decide which side is best for you to put your spool holder and seal off the other. You have a hole over here, 
covered with uh, metal grommet, and this allows you to pass your filament through and it will not wear out the machine. You've got another hole on the side in case you have a desk mounted filament holder. So you can pass that into your machine as well. I'll also supply the link to my own desk mount uh, filament stand if you like. Very easy filament stand. There's plenty of them all out there on Thingiverse. We also find up top a thermostat in Celsius that lets you see the exact temperature inside the enclosure. We have an extra flap on the rear with a round hole. And the purpose of this is you can put a air vent, a fan, and possibly a filter, HEPA filter or other, in order to suck out the, the fumes and the exhaust from your printer, bring them to the outside, or to clean the air as it's going. That's there available for you. We hope to have a filtration system available from Wham Bam. On the lower part of the back, there is also a cable passage area where you can put your power cords through, um, as well as your USB. You can feed a lot of different cords through there and it seals off in between. That's most of the features. Uh, I can't wait to show this to you in action. We'll do a couple of temperature tests real soon and I'll post those. Like I said, we are planning on making a lot of accessories. If you have any suggestions for accessories or ways to improve the product, let us know. We are making this for other machines very shortly. We plan on doing it for some tall Delta machines as well as some various American machines as well as Chinese. Let us know if you guys have a specific machine that you'd really like to see the enclosure for. We'll see what we can do about getting that going. Let me know if you have any other suggestions in the comments and thank you for your time.